Ladies and gentlemen, we call upon us the Prime Minister of the State of Israel, His Excellency Benjamin Netanyahu, Mrs. Sara Netanyahu, and Mr. Eduardo Bolsonaro. My good friend uh, Eduardo Bolsonaro, the Chairman of the uh, uh, International Affairs and National Defense Committee of uh, Brazil, uh, Sergio, Sergio uh, Segovia, uh, and your entire delegation who is here today, ambassadors uh, from uh, Brazil to Israel and from Israel to Brazil, Yossi Shelley, Shalom, and your wife. It's uh, a pleasure to see all of you. This is an auspicious time uh, because the opening of the Apex uh, office here in Jerusalem is part of uh, something that we had agreed upon uh, in the uh, formation of the relations between, the tightening of relations between Israel and Brazil, and here it's happening today as part of uh, President Bolsonaro's commitment to open an embassy in Jerusalem next year. As we say, Bezat Hashem. <laughs> That's with the help of God. <clears throat> the, uh, uh, this is coming also uh, for two reasons at an important time. The first is that I'm uh, happy to report to you that we have made rapid advances and important advances in our ability to cut travel time between Brazil and Israel, and we will soon be able to fly across Africa. So we can cut down the time, Eduardo, for this visit by several hours. <laughs> and this is very good news, both for uh, tourism, but also for the vital exchange of uh, business people, entrepreneurs, technologists. This is critical. The APAX office uh, uh, can help, I think, uh, Brazil and Israel realize the potential of cooperation between us. Uh, Israel is perhaps the most uh, dynamic innovation nation in the world. This is not what I say, but many others who are saying it. The markets are saying it. We have an explosion of ingenuity here. Brazil has an unbelievable potential with uh, its uh, vast size, its diverse population, its universities, uh, the talents of its people. And we think that if we merge the great potentials that our two countries have, we can benefit each other unbelievably. And this office, APAX, will be actually the spearhead of this vital development because the future belongs to those who innovate. And we are both eager to seize the future so we can do it better together. And this is the first point. The second point is I want to say how much I appreciate uh, President Bolsonaro's stance in supporting Israel in international forums. I think that, uh, thank you. There's much, there's much to applaud because President Bolsonaro immediately changed policy and he said, we stand with Israel. We stand with the truth. So we stand here in Israel with Brazil because we stand with the truth. And we are supporting Brazil in every way that we can including in the uh, support for the dam uh, tragedy that happened and then the fires in the Amazon. Israel was there and Israel will always be there for the people of Brazil and for our common friendship. I think that uh, one of the things that uh, I will always remember and my wife Sarah will remember with me is this extraordinary visit to Brazil during President Bolsonaro's inauguration. Uh, we came um, and were so deeply impressed with the, not only with his friendship and your friendship, Eduardo, and so many others in your government and in the Congress, but also in the friendship of the people. Uh, we went down to walk in, uh, you know, in the uh, uh, beaches of uh, Copacabana I played soccer with Brazilians. I have to say I'm not as good as Pelé. I used to be. But, uh, but I have to say that the friendship was unbelievable and we saw this everywhere. Everywhere we went, including in the inauguration itself in Brasilia, where uh, you know, crowds were cheering for President uh, Bolsonaro, but those same crowds cheered the Prime Minister of Israel. And it was very moving for us because we cherish our friends 
And we have no better friends than the people and the government of Brazil. And I want you to know that you have no better friends than the people and the government of Israel. So welcome, friend. And let's uh, all celebrate in this new opening. This is a great day for our friendship. Thank you. Thank you very much. I became a friend of Israel. And with uh, instructions, or maybe teachings of Yossi Shelley, start to defend the Israeli position inside of the Congress. I even, there is a, a video that I subtitle by myself for English to show a little bit how things work on the other side of the world. And sometimes they blame you for everything, everything. And it's incredible, like I, I don't know any other army in the world where you tell your enemies that you are going to attack him. This is like unbelievable. And it's still like that. They still blame you that you are torturing or that you are confusing, creating some kind of disturbance in the region. Then we have, we have to show it to everybody. For sure, more and more people will agree and stand for Israel if we do this in a good way. Going a little bit ahead, for sure, Mr. Benjamin Netanyahu, we will be together fighting back against terrorist group. If we do not move the embassy to Jerusalem, if the terrorists think that they can, they can threat us, it will be a shame on us. I mean, the, if you want to avoid the terrorist attack, you have to show power. You have to show that you don't care about what they are going to do. Who commands your country? is your authorities, not a terrorist groups. That's why I think sooner or later we are going to recognize Hezbollah as a terrorist group. <laughs> Especially even after what they made in Argentina, our brothers Argentinians in 92 and 94. And for sure they have a lot of activity in my country, lodging money, doing other, crime, other crimes and a lot of concentration in the south of Brazil, it's not a surprise for no one that uh, you have a lot of suspects in the tribal border between Brazil, Argentina, and Paraguay. And they are fully, totally inside of Venezuela with even with the number two of the Maduro dictatorship system. Tarek al Saimi is not a surprise to anyone else here. And also if a lot of suspect that they are illegally mining gold in Venezuela. So for sure, if the terrorists are acting globally, we should fight back globally too. And I finish here, bring some, not that much news, but a news. I was with the President Jair Bolsonaro on phone before I come here, even before the first time that we just made here, Major Netanyahu. And he told me that uh, for sure is a commitment. He's going to move the embassy to Jerusalem. He's going to do that. <laughs> we are studying, we are carefully, because we don't want to do as other countries made that is step back. We want to do a movement to Jerusalem, not only for Brazil, but to be an example to the rest of the Latin America. And Brazil is half of South America when you talk about population and territory. So if we do this movement in a smart way, for sure, other countries will be comfortable to do the same. And this is what we expect. And finishing it, this short speech, I don't know if you have uh, seen YouTube videos, Mr. Segovia, when the president, I mean, at that time, Congressman Jair Bolsonaro was arriving around Brazil in many, many, many airports. If you have the chance, go on YouTube and watch it. The crowd, like thousands of people waiting for Jair Bolsonaro with two flags, the Brazilian flag and the Israeli flag. It shows a lot the support of the Christians of Brazil, and especially the evangelicals what they expect from us, what they want for us. And they also stand together for their brothers, which are the Jewish here in Israel. So that's also why I'm sure that President Jair Bolsonaro will move the embassy 
to Jerusalem, and it will be really a great day. And uh, yes, as, as you have in the Bible, I talked with my shipper before I come here, the shipper who married me in May, Cesar, and now I'm a serious man. <laughs> please, please clap, clap. She's watching me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, no, Silas Malafai made my father. <laughs> Shipper Pedrão made my, my wedding. And I was talking to him about, uh, about Jerusalem. And he was very, in a very quick conversation by WhatsApp, he told me something that I didn't know. That uh, you have over than 650 times the name Jerusalem. Only in the Old Testament is the holy is the holy book that you most see the disconnection between the Jewish people and the land and the territory of Israel nowadays. Even the King David, David, he bought this land. It is the only one document about selling and buying document that you have in the whole Bible about someone buying a land. So uh, you have political arguments, you have historic arguments, you have a bunch of arguments to recognize that Jerusalem is your capital. So we are not going to make something that uh, extraordinary. We are only going to do the normal thing, is recognize the capital, your capital, as you say. In Brazil, we say the capital is Brasilia, so you do recognize the capital of Brazil is Brasilia. So we are going to do the same, because we do believe that who bless Israel, we will be blessed. And who curse Israel, we will be cursed. Thank you very much. Toda Raba. I respect uh, and uh, appreciate President Bolsonaro's commitment first to open this office, which uh, uh, was something we decided on on his visit here uh, a few, uh, about a year ago, and uh, his commitment to open a full-fledged embassy in uh, Jerusalem, something we know that will serve the interest of Brazil and Israel. Israel is in the midst of an economic revolution. So is the world. And Israel is the perhaps the preeminent innovation nation in the world. And Brazil has tremendous possibilities. President Bolsonaro recognizes this. I recognize this. And uh, we had Eduardo Bolsonaro speaking about it very eloquently. May I say in English? Yes. Made an English speech. So I think this is an opportunity to realize this potential for the benefit of our peoples. And as I said, we're also going to have a direct flight across Africa from Brazil to Israel. Mm -hmm. So this will narrow the time for Israelis to visit Brazil and Brazilians to visit Israelis, and we are waiting for you. And do you expect that the embassy will be here yes. next year? Yes, I hope so. We have a saying in the Jewish tradition, next year in Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. So now I say next year in Israel, it's a Brazilian embassy in Jerusalem. Okay. Next year in Jerusalem. Thank, Thank you.